Hey everybody, welcome back to NeoCab. We're continuing our first look from last time because I'm a little bit too curious about what's gonna happen from this point on. So when we last left off, we just came into this town, Los Ojos, and we met up with our best friend, Savi. But she kind of ditched me to see a client at a club. And I'm not feeling very happy about that because it's my first night here, but she won't hang out with me. But it's work-related, so I guess, what can you do about that? Maybe we'll feel a little bit better if we meet some new people, take up some rides, and make some money. Moving did cost a lot of money here, so it's something that we gotta keep in mind. Jace will send you the deets. So over it. You're awesome, DJ. Jace was Savy's boyfriend, who we don't know too much about. And apparently we're gonna meet them later down the night. Okay. We have very little energy in our car right now, so I think that means we gotta go to this place, a recharge station. Juice by Capra, 132 per bar. Combine charge station, coin only, no USD accepted. We're in the States and no USD accepted. Wow. Are there other charging stations that are not as expensive? There are, but I can't reach it because I don't have enough energy. Honestly though, at this point, it's so close to me that I feel like it's better for us to try to go here. Because even though these places are not as expensive, it's too far to reach. And actually, we can't reach any of them anyway, so... Definitely time for a recharge. Plus, the weird way the hum of the charging stations made my head feel stuffed with cotton. I kind of loved it, even if it was probably killing brain cells. It would cost me 132 per bar. A little steep, but here I was. Okay. 132. Right now, I have a little bit of a single bar. If I get a full charge, am I sort of missing out on that little bit? <laughs> Do I even have to think that carefully about it? Hold on. 132 times 4 would be 528. No, we don't get charged extra. Let's get a full charge then. I continued my night. The rate is a little bit pricey, but I think better safe than sorry. We have a few passengers that we can pick from. Ali Bream. Five star rating. Peace, love, and LO. Anthony Colton. Founder and chief cat herder at Curate All. Putting a gentler dent in the universe. Gideon DeKalb. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, then you win. Do these ratings really matter? Because I feel like a lot of people tend to rate 1 or 5, so... Even if I see a 5, is that really any different from a 4? Huh. If we want to save money, it probably makes sense for us to go to the closest person, right? Okay. Sorry, I'm running to meet you, but still two blocks away. Can you just stop at the next corner instead of the pickup zone? I'm out of breath. <sighs> Great. Not doing what the packs wanted could hurt my star rating, but pulling over in an AV zone would risk a stop from the LOPD. Not to mention a ticket that would set me back some serious coin. Oh... Uh, it's late at night. Mm. I couldn't risk losing the star. I pulled right up to the pin, and right inside a clearly marked Capra loading zone. My headlights hit one of their cars, and it froze in that weird, too-fast AV way, almost like you scared it. Almost like they weren't the thing to actually be afraid of. Hey, sorry, can we go? Whoa, she's got a ton of gadgets. Oh, she's from Capra. She's got like biometrics on her suit and all. Jeez. Oh, 
Why am I saying sorry? I didn't do anything wrong. Of course. It's cool. I glanced at her suit for a second. What was she wearing? Half my packs have these holoscope displays, but the full body thing. Barely an hour here, and already Sebi was flaking, and my packs was covered in weird gadgets. Welcome to Los Ojos. What's good? Any plans tonight? Yeah, kinda. I just moved here. Mmm, we don't have to overshare. And it's been interesting. I took a deep breath. Come on, Savy. I thought we were past this. Yeah, Elo is usually pretty interesting, no matter what. Oh, wait! I gotta top up! Mind if I plug in? The suit's running low. Uh... You're gonna steal my energy? My car's battery was terrible at holding a charge, but it looked like I could spare some at the moment. Uh, okay, okay. I needed a good rating, more than the charge. Sure, happy to help. Thanks! Gotta stop forgetting to charge at every stop. Cabra makes you pay extra to use the port in their cars. Hey, we don't nickel and dime people here at Neocab. Never let people say gig worker solidarity isn't a thing. Hmm, maybe this good deed will help me when I'm limping along to a charging station later. You don't have to worry about your rating with me. Hmm? A little bit happier to hear that. I used to be a Capra mate. Keep it above 4.8 stars or else. Yeah, maybe her being 5 stars is a good indication that she's pretty agreeable too. I can relax a little bit. That's pretty strict. That sounds like a lot of customer service places. Like online chats and call centers. Seriously, you get one person having a bad day and there goes your rating. You ever work for Capra? I did, never again. A lot of drivers went into Capra mates after the culling. The culling. So this one makes me happier because I'm being more honest about it. We got a pretty raw deal. Capra just patched our cars over the air. I was right in the beginning of a shift. I booted up, but the wheel was locked. Then it drove me home. Seriously? I would have freaked. So, wait, sorry, one sec. How long have you been driving for Neocab? Wait, so the culling is something where the Capra people patched my car and made it drive automatically. Or, oh no no, she moved to Neocab because she didn't like working for Capra. That's it. It's so funny when packs try to pretend they didn't just zone out into their hollow space for a second. Almost two years. But I like it. Moving on though. What's your opinion of Neocab, the company? Was I missing something about these questions? And how honest did she expect me to be? Uh, It's great. Better than working at Capra. I say to a Capra person. Oh, hey. Did you see the sign we just drove past? That's like the best bond me in town. Is she even listening to me? <laughs> She's kind of talking at me. We're not really having a conversation here. The words went straight to my stomach. I hadn't stopped to eat all night. Neo crab, pork floss, vegan pate. Neo crab is a thing, right? It's not like an actual. It's not like a sarcastic comment on neo crab. <laughs> oh, do they have neo crab? No, but they do this machine spun soy protein fiber mesh. It's like umami cotton candy. So, hey. Would you say your opinions on Sophie's law are mostly positive or negative? <laughs> She's talking at me. Uh, remind me what that is. 
Sorry, that's a dumb question. Why would a Neocab driver be for something that bans all non-automated cars? Oh. Wait, what? So a few weeks ago, this famous belly dancer died in a car attack. People were just people were just out having a good time and this guy drove straight into a crowd. Sophie and like 15 other people were killed. That's awful. And that wouldn't happen with an automated car, is what the law is saying. So we should just stop people from driving entirely. Who was a driver? Nobody knows. They never released his name, or else... I don't know. Some people think it was all planned to get this law to happen. Anyway, the vote is in a few days, so it'll all blow over soon. Blow over? If the law passed, it looked like I'd be out of a job. A Capra buzzed by me. Of course, making human drivers illegal, and how else would people get around the city? Hmm, I know we don't have to worry with this Pax in particular, but she can read my mood ring thing, so I don't know. If someone sees their driver being angry, they might be a bit worried about that. I feel like I gotta um, restrict my emotions a little bit. So I know it's dumb, but I just need a clear answer. Here, I'll repeat the question. Would you say your opinions on Sophie's law are mostly positive or negative? What are you doing? Why are you are you collecting information on me? Wait a sec, was she reading these off some kind of script? <gasps> she picked a human driver on purpose. So, what's that you're wearing? Oh, right, you're new in town. I do... Suvalence. Suvalence? For Capra. Suvalence? Yeah, like surveillance is from above, surveillance is from below. <laughs> I don't think Capra is... Oh, mm, this sounds like an angry thing. I don't think Capra is below anybody. Well, it's like surveillance is what the cops and the NSA do. What Capra does is data collection, business intelligence... You know, help the community, improve service... They've got cameras and sensors all over this suit. Mmm, then that means they know I'm angry already, right? I'm like a big sponge sucking in data from everything and sending it to Capra. <gasps> and she made me park in that loading zone! So you've been recording our conversation all along? Not happy about that. Yeah? Sorry, I forget I'm even doing it. It's just always tracking. This lady doesn't seem to have a mood thing, although she's got these bars here, because I don't see any colors changing. Ambient radiation, my own vitals... If there's an off-the-shelf sensor for it, I'm probably wearing it. So those questions are what Capron wants to know about us, huh? They let us chat a little bit, but yeah, it's their questionnaire. Like opposition research stuff, gotta fill my quota. I'm really sorry. I just assume everyone I talk to knows. So I've been talking to Capra this whole time. About me. About the job I scraped together when they fired me. Good thing I didn't talk about Savy, because that was kind of personal. I felt my shoulders tighten and dug my nails into the wheel. All the Capras, sneaking through the lanes, suddenly come into focus like a swarm, like I was surrounded. I think we're way beyond on the border right now. We should probably step back a little bit. I try to breathe. I gotta say, I wish I'd gotten some warning. I gotta say... Oh no, that does not look good. <laughs> She's looking at my ring! She was staring right at my wrist. My field grid was blazing red. 
Let me switch this damn thing off. Can you do that? I just did. I should have realized when you said it's your first night in LO. All this stuff is normal to me. We're so focused on our metrics. It's a terrible introduction, but... Welcome to Los Ojos. We've got great food and a shitty panopticon. Thank you, though. I do appreciate you turning it off. A lot of other people wouldn't. Won't you get in trouble for shutting it off? I might. But it's not worth making you miserable, you feel? She was quiet for the first time. I could feel her relaxing, now that the suit had gone dark. Ali flashed a smile at me, and I could finally see her face. The human connection. Anyways, I love your hair. I cut mine short like that once. I miss it. In this heat, I just want to shave it all off, but that's a whole look, you know? Am I babbling? It's been too long since I've talked to someone real. Ever since I took this job, it's like I'm just a passenger in this suit. You know what I mean? Capra does the talking, and I'm along for the ride. Uh, I got that when I was driving for Capra, too. I still have the keys somewhere. I might bury them in the desert. <laughs> Definitely. I pulled up to a shopping center. Skyscrapers on one side, and the skeletons of their future neighbors on the other. Hey, Allie. I think we're waiting to pull up. She works for Capra, but she doesn't sound like she buys into their whole philosophy too much. She's willing to turn it off, at least. But I, I want to thank her, but this one makes me happy. <laughs> Don't give up. You'll find something better. Yeah, gotta stay on your hustle, right? Thanks for not kicking me out of your car. <laughs> Never let them say gig worker solidarity isn't a thing, right? She was reasonable. Damn right. I'll hit you up if I need a real human again. Good luck in Los Ojos. I watched the suit blink back to life as she vanished into a crowd of shoppers. Looked like Capra could find their way into my car no matter what. Even through a sweetheart like Allie. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, pfft, not anymore. I'm glad I gave her some battery. Thank you. Gig folk gotta stick together. Yay. So that made me six dollars, seven dollars. And charging up full pretty much cost me five ish dollars. Whoa, the margins are. It's a little bit rough. We do have a few more bars, but we gave Ali some battery for her suit, too. As I turned the corner, I slowed the car. A throng of people had gathered in the street. They surrounded on an empty Capra car in a messy circle. They were yelling, barking things at each other and at the car. A few were taking swings at it with chains and sockets. The auto car made dozens of tiny rapid-fire turns, trying to free itself from the circle. I thought of a moth trapped between window panes. Then, another sound. Was that my back door? Hey, I didn't let you in! What the hell? I need to get out of here. I, I need you to go. I'll pay. What the... Listen, I'll explain, but we need to go. You're a Neocab, right? I'm... You drive people. We need to go. I can't be here. <gasps> your field grid states colors your choices. 
sometimes adding new options and sometimes disabling them. This seems kind of sketchy. Hey, if we drive a criminal away, are we complicit in the act? <laughs> uh, he's obviously looking for a human because it's he doesn't want a Capra to record whatever he's doing. Eh, I need the money. Oh, works for me if you're paying. I gritted my teeth. I was way too angry. Oh, come on. Even this one's not okay? Let's just take a breath, okay? My pulse raced in my ears so loud I couldn't think straight. God damn it, I have to be angry. What the hell are you doing in my car? You want a ride, you go through Neocab. You don't just open my door without asking. Look, I'm sorry, seriously. But that's my fucking bike under the wheels of that Capra, okay? I nearly died. And if we don't get out of here now, the cops will be here and my life will actually be over. I can explain everything, but first, you need to put some distance in between us and that mob. This guy has a freaking prosthetic arm. Hmm. <sighs> that does sound terrifying, but you're terrifying me too. Okay, we're getting out of here, and then you're explaining everything. Really? Every time we've had these choices so far, we have to be angry? Heat flared into my face, and I was sick and tired of being pushed around. You know what? No. But can we do it? No, we can't. You know what? No. If the cops are coming, that's your issue. And stop telling me what to do from the backseat of my own car. You know what? She's right. I'm being too much of a pushover by letting this guy on. They didn't even follow the app protocols, so what's to say I'll even get paid from this? I let the silence and the tension fill the space. But honestly, the whole thing is kind of scary too because you alone in your car, you don't really want to piss off the wrong people either. The packs looked so scared. The mob outside was getting worse. And did I really want to deal with the LOPD right now? Hey, hey, you've got panic eyes. I see you. Do you see me? I can usually get a read on a person the first time I see their face. Savy called it my truth download, not like she ever listened when it was about someone she wanted to date. But I needed to be calm to hear that little voice inside my head, and this pax had me all riled up. I met their eyes in the rearview mirror. And it worked. It was as clear as if they were saying it out loud. I knew they were sorry. They were safe, and they were just trying to survive. Like me. You're the sort of person who feels things really intensely, right? Well, this is an intense situation. Please, take one second to see me asking you for help, and drive. Can you not act like that? Like, I'm, I'm okay with helping you, but can you be like, Hey, please, can you help me? No, this guy's like, and drive. <sighs> I held their gaze. Mm -mm, do I want to drive? I held their gaze. I felt the fear evaporate. My pulse slowed. <sighs> there we go. They trailed off as they watched my field grid crash from angry red to a chill green. It seemed to calm them down too. You're wearing one of those feel things, and it looks like we're... cool? Choose your words and packs carefully. Well, these are both cool. Hmm, we're cool. That's good, because me and the LOPD are not. Florence! I got us out of there in the nick of time just as the squad cars rolled up and the bike punks scrambled into the night. 
now I'm complicit in whatever happened. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Azel. Ow. Why does adrenaline ever have to wear off? This shit hurts, dude. I'm Lena. Where are we going? Take me... Oh, shit. I need to get to work. I work at this club in Luz Rouge. It's not too far. I'm... Oh, shit. Ow. Are you okay? I'm... I'm bleeding. Oh, no! Don't get it over my car! <laughs> Can I help? Can you give me some stitches and antibiotics? No, is it that bad? No, forget it. I'm just rattled. Thanks for asking. And don't worry, I won't mess up your car. <laughs> Thanks for reassuring me. That was thoughtful. Neocab is supposed to cover cleaning costs for things like that. But once they do, there's always a mysterious operations surcharge that'll pop up in your paycheck a few days later. So they don't. Yeah. I had a feeling asking are you okay was, you know, better than asking them what happened. Because it shows a bit more human connection. Me caring about you. I got hit by a Capra. I was on my bike. Oh god, and we were just talking about Sophie's Law too. So no, automated cars hit people too. It came out of nowhere, sideswiped me, then it just kept driving. Right over my fucking bike. Oh my god. Oh my god is something that shows I'm like trying to relate to what they're saying, but it's not helpful. So this is helpful, but depending on what kind of person we're talking to, they might want somebody to sympathize with them and not, like, you know, be helpful. But we'll try being helpful. Did you get the plate number? Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Don't bother going back, though. Forget it. And all those people just showed up? No, no. I called Erratic Swarm. Uh, what's Erratic Swarm? You know who Radix is, right? Sounds like they hate Capra. So does anyone with a brain, right? Now we're talking. <laughs> we're activists. We stand up against corporate entities like Capra. Radix is all about direct action to change the city for the people. Getting rid of cars, that's just a seed. What grows from that are safer streets, public transit, that works, a big chunk bitten out of the luxury market. Most people just see us as punks on bikes, but most people are blind. <laughs> Can I join? <laughs> You're asking me that from behind the wheel, so... Fuck no. It's about building our own community. If you're a member of Radix and you're in trouble, like if you get hit by a fucking Capra, you send up a flare on the app to call a Radix swarm. It alerts the other members, shows them where you are, tells them you need help. So why didn't you get help from them? Oh, the mob! Oh! So that was help? Doesn't seem like it did much for you, if you're here with me. I just... it got crazy. I don't know. I didn't expect that. Is it your first time calling a swarm? Yeah. But it's like... I don't know. It's not supposed to be like that. What's it supposed to be like? More civil? I don't know, I thought they'd save me, but it was like they just showed up to fuck up the Capra car. Nobody tried to get my bike or whatever. Hmm. An activist group that has good intentions on paper, but in reality attracts people who just hate on the other side. One dude helped me up, but like, the second I said I was okay, 
I didn't matter anymore. I'm sorry. That sucks. Yeah. But I'll get you where you need to go. That makes it even worse. Why do you say that? Because it's still a fucking car. You're still putting people at risk every day. Plus... I shouldn't be riding around in a death machine in front of a bunch of Radix folks. So you're anti-car completely, not just anti-automated car. And you're in my car. Let's try not to be offended. Whatever. Chill out. Chill out. Hmm. Getting out of there was the right idea. Do you think they saw me get in? Oh, definitely. Seriously? How could they not? Oh, I don't know for sure, but we should assume the worst. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, shit. What am I gonna tell them? The truth? You were scared? Yeah, right. I could feel their worry, still wound as tight as a drum. What a fucking night. My leg's killing me, my bike's gone. They're probably gonna ask me to leave Radix. Hmm... Would that be a bad thing? Yes, it would be a bad thing! I just mean because they didn't help you. Yeah, I understand you're loyal to them, but were they loyal to you? They don't sound like they take care of their own. Whatever. Look, where I'm going, I don't want them to see me get out of your car. So, can you just drop me like corner of Guadalupe and Sanders, I'll walk the rest of the way. On that leg? It's just a scrape. I'm fine. <sighs> you sure you don't want to see someone about it? Maybe there's a free clinic nearby? Oh, but I'm going on my own dime here. <sighs> In this town? Yeah, sure. They lean to look out the window. Okay, here's good. Maybe just pull into the alley? The whole block looked pretty deserted, but I still slipped into the shadows, whatever would put their mind at ease. You don't like record this, right? That's the Neocab deal? Yeah, I think so. Right, no camera, nothing on the app. You were never here, Azul. What about money? Okay. Well, how much do I owe you? Mmm, as much as I'd like to help them. No, we can't do charity because I'm broke and I need to think about myself too. And he's asking. 10 coins should cover it. It's a little bit much though, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, fair price I guess. <laughs> Especially for the, the blood on my car seats. Here you go. Thanks. Listen, thanks for not kicking me out of your car. I appreciate it. But like, what you saw... No worries, I'll keep it quiet. Thanks. Shit, wait. I didn't get your name. Lena. Cool. Thanks, Lena. I'm Azul. I said that, right? <laughs> you did, and you're welcome. Have a good night. Azul stepped out of the car, stumbling a bit, like they couldn't put too much weight on their knee. Yeah, they were so rattled. I already told them my name earlier. Without so much as a look back though, they shook it off and limped into the alley. It was well after midnight, and I met my ride quota. I checked my field grid, green. On most nights, I'd call it quits about now. Or maybe push on for one last ride, if I had it in me. But until I heard from Sabi, I had nowhere to go. 
When was she gonna text me back? That club this guy was going to? I thought it was the one that she was at? The one that Sabi was at? But maybe not. Daily goals for money. Hmm. Well, I'm getting there. Nothing new in my journal. She's still not calling me back. I don't even know her address, so we really got nowhere to go. Pretty rude of her to completely dish me like that, really. Oh, I think we got more money this time because we didn't go through Neocab and didn't have to give a cut to them. 